Well, if you had a million dollars to help poor people, how would you spend that money? Well, Metro decided to use public money to buy office furniture for a multi-billion dollar co uh, corporation. An investigative reporter, Ben Hall, examined the $66 million in incentive that Metro gave HCA to build its headquarters. And what you found is really interesting, Ben. Well, that's right. HCA says those incentives spurred growth in an undeveloped area, but they included buying HCA's furniture with money marked for people living in pockets of poverty. The new 17-story HCA headquarters needed a lot of furniture before it opened. But HCA, which made $2.7 billion in profits last year, didn't pay for that furniture on its own. It passed much of the cost on to Metro. At the same time we have a budget shortfall in the city of Nashville, we're giving money out of our pockets for a multi-billion dollar organization to buy furniture. Mark Cunningham with the conservative Beacon Center was shocked when we showed him receipts for $1 million worth of office furniture Metro bought for the new building. So it was a stimulus in the sense of creating jobs where there were no jobs. Council member Erica Gilmore okay. represented the district where HCA built. She sponsored a resolution that gave the company a million dollars for moving expenses. I was shocked when I saw some of the purchases that were made and that they were signed off on. Pictures from the Alfred Williams and Company website where HCA bought its furniture show what Metro paid for. Conference room furniture like this for more than $8,300. A guitar pick table for more than $4,100. I did not vote for our money to be spent like that. But the resolution that Gilmore sponsored and the council approved specifically mentions office furniture. So you voted for a stimulus. Right. But and I'm you that also economics. voted for furniture. But no, I didn't vote for furniture. I, I, I voted for the economic stimulus and MDHA is accountable for the oversight. We try to comply with what the council asked for. Jim Filchin with MDHA said it paid for the furniture because that's exactly what the Metro Council told them to do. The council resolution also made it clear where Metro should get the million dollars. It originated from a federal grant designed to help poor people living in urban pockets of poverty. Now, HCA said the incentives were important to their decision to spend $200 million building in the North Gulch area. We asked to see the furniture Metro bought, but HCA did not let us in the building. Ben, what about the idea of this being a pocket of poverty, though? Well, the company that acquired the land where HCA built said it was a blighted area, and now it's years ahead of where it would have been without these incentives. I'll have a lot more on this tonight at 6 and online throughout the day. All right, thank you so much, Ben Hall, for coming in. We know you've been working on this a long time, and you said you have a lot more coming up tonight, so we'll make Absolutely. sure we don't miss that as well. Thanks. Right.